the Rig Rat. Hello, here is a brief overview of how I use the Akai MPC Live 2. So I like to do things on the fly. Uh, somebody requests a song and I, uh, I want to go into that song. And I have songs uh, uh, categorized sort of by beat. Here is just a standard beat. And this is what's great about the Akai MPC Live 2. Volume is right here on the front. Of course, the bat it's on battery right now, and the speakers are here, right in the Akai. So, or, so I, I can just touch the screen, go to a shuffle beat, go to a 3-4 beat, go to a polka beat, because I played a polka, I played at a Polish restaurant. And there's a waltz really quick. Samba. A shuffle with a clap. Sixteenths. Now the tempo for some of this is maybe not complementing the pattern. But anyway, one way I got into the tempo was just hold tap. This seems to be the quickest way. And then move the dial button over here. Okay, so there's two. I've created two, I'll say, banks or groups of patterns. Here's some other patterns. A groove. Funk. I tried to get a Bo Diddley beat. These are all beats that I had to create. Some of them I did take from um, the... Uh, uh, Alessis, uh, um, gee, what's it called? You know, the drum machine. <laughs> so, some of them I imported that way. I recorded the MIDI and it quantized pretty good. I mean, I did the quantizing. Quantizing on here is very nice and easy and simple once you get used to it. Here's just a kick. Another polka. Who cares? All right. And so what I did was I created tracks. And that's the only way I can think of to maintain one tempo so I can go through a selection of songs. I can have a row of songs that are at 120 and then not stop between the songs. I'll just, but, but I'll uh, break it up. Um... The next song could be a shuffle, and this breaks things up a bit, the monotony of it all, I suppose. And uh, just, but, but you're not having to deal with changing tempos. You're just touching different patterns, and, and uh, I wish I could, uh, I hope I'm explaining it the right way. It is built on tracks. You have to have a solo mode so that when you touch these pads, which of course, as you see, change over here when you touch here. But it's a little simpler for me to just use the screen. What was my point? Oh yeah, you know, I'll leave it on solo mode because if it's not on solo mode, it sounds like this. All the patterns are playing at once, not good. <laughs> and then hit mute to access these different uh, pad types. I guess. Okay. Well, I've lost it. I don't know. Oh, there it is. So, I don't know. I hope I explained that right. It's a. It's worked out really great to have this drum machine. <laughs>